Welcome to Thimbleweed Park. So, this is a new adventure game, point and click adventure, from Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick. Now, if those names sound familiar, then you probably uh, played a bunch of point and click adventure games. Well, Ron Gilbert would probably be familiar. Uh, this was a Kickstarter game. I didn't back this myself because it was after when I had already stopped doing crowdfunding. But I'm super excited about this game. Now, Ron Gilbert's most well known for being the creator of Monkey Island. Uh, he worked at LucasArts for a while. And Gary Winnick was probably the very, one of the first, if not the first, people hired by LucasArts way back when they were still called Lucas Games, I believe. He's a graphic designer. Um, before he be, got into video games, and he, he worked on almost all the games that LucasArts did in some capacity, mostly doing art or overseeing art and animations, that kind of thing. But he did other things too, uh, occasionally. Most notably, he co-designed Maniac Mansion along with Ron Gilbert. And that's uh, relevant to this game because this game at least from what I've seen and read about it, is very much like Maniac Mansion. At least it has the same mechanic where you don't play just one character. There's a whole cast of different wacky characters that you can switch between freely. Uh, Maniac Mansion did that. I'm not sure if it was the very first game to, did it, to do it, but it was certainly the game that's most known for doing it and the game that popularized it. And then other games afterwards went on to do that to uh, Day of the Tentacle, the uh, sequel to Maniac Mansion, and much more recently, like uh, the Book of Unwritten Tales has several characters you can freely switch between. But uh, I've talked your ear off enough, so let's jump into the game. Casual mode, if you're new to adventure games, I'm not. Or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there's so much to do. Free tutorial included. Hard mode, if you're an experienced adventure gamer, that's me. And you want all the puzzles because there's nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Oh sweet, the interface is exactly like the old, um, the old uh, scum engine. Uh, that LucasArts used. It's got the verbs. It's got your uh, inventory right here. I don't need no tutorial. I don't know exactly how this works. Nineteen eighty-seven. I was eleven years old in nineteen eighty-seven. Was that Morse code? It, was that an invisible hand moving that lock or the wind? If that's the wind moving a metal lock, it's got to be blown pretty hard. The movie park, city limit, population 81. Population 80. Alright, so someone got killed, I'm assuming. Or is about to get killed, part 1. The meeting. Trestle Trail, 1.7 miles. Nice, my man got him a bottle of Jack. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Okay. Prototype pillow bear. It is a pillow bear prototype. 
Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Oh. Very top secret. Oh, man, I want one of those. Key card for hotel room 608. It is the key card for my room. It is my wallet and it has 252 American dollars in it. Damn. That's a lot of money to be carrying on you. I would never carry that much money, not unless I was just about to buy something expensive. And even then, I'd probably just use plastic. But I suppose 1987 credit cards weren't as prevalent as they are today, so someone might be more likely to carry that much cash on them. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail Bridge. Turn off the light above the Trestle Trail sign so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure, make sure you are not followed. So I gotta turn off that light. Willie! <laughs> I like this one. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? <gasps> uh, I need some whiskey. I have to go. I'm sorry I could not offer you a drink. I have to go. I'm sorry I could not offer you a drink. Well, this game has voiceovers, so I should probably not read those out. I'm not gonna tell him I'm going to a meeting because this is all supposed to be super secret. I've given the pillow bear so he could uh, be more uh, comfortable, but I might need the pillow bear, so. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. It is too hot to touch. Okay, so I need to cool it off. I don't want to pick that up. Alright, I got a rock. It is a rock. Yes, it is. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need, maybe I need the bottle from Willie so that I can fill it with water, then pour the water on the light bulbs to cool it off. Either that or I use the rock to break the light. But I don't want to vandalize just yet. I mean, if I have to, I will. But Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. I have to go. Sleep well. Can I take the bottle? I have to go. Sleep well. Does it look like I can... Wake up, sir. Uh, it doesn't look like I can take the bottle for him. He needs to sleep. I can just I grab it out of his hand. Sleep well. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to smash the light bulb then. There, I have completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So, step four is meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. There it is. 
this, but there's an old tree that's blocking it. What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? Is that a ghost? Invisible person? None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part 2. The body. I got an achievement for getting to that. Wow. Oh, he's dead. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Oh, so I'm playing as Reyes? Can I play? Oh, I can play as Ray. Sweet. I'm starting to pixelate. Ray is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to do. Arrived in Thimbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus. Heading out to look at the body. This is perfect cover. Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body. An agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumors around the office. Might pose some problems for me. Remember to call mom tonight. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. We got into town late this afternoon. What a dumb. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it'll suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. It should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh, great. Some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been altered. In ditching. So both Ray and Reyes are here under false pretenses. They're both using this body as cover. What are, what are their real motives for being here? It's a cell phone. Look at this gigantic thing. Oh, 1987 cell phone. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Happy to help. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. Can we go over here? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. <laughs> that old tree is blocking the great entrance. Probably nothing to do here yet. Something odd. It's covered by the underbrush. But it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. The chainsaw of disappointment? Oh snap, I got it! It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Okay, well, I still got it. So, hey, I got a chainsaw. Ooh, chainsaw of expectation. Get some chainsaw gas for that and be ready to go. Looks like that drug is gone. Switch to Reyes and get I ready. need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. So, the, so he wants to solve the murder, but he also has other things he wants to do. There's a can of tuna. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Clearly, you only want the good parts of the tuna heads. Atari cartridge. Ball blaster from Mucus Flem Games? Hmm, never heard of it. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. I'll have her go the other way for that. I don't I see way. anything up ahead. Okay. I think the town must be in the other direction. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. <laughs> Very strong. What the? <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Wow. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. Wow, taking some shots at Sierra. I love my Sierra death sequences. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. 
Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Beep. Ooh. Boop. What? Squeak. <laughs> Beep. What the hell? Who? Whack. What? No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. You two are nuts. <laughs> Nuts! I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Whack! Was. Whack! Was. Squeak! Squeak! It's a plumbing van click. driven by big pigeons. Click, click, click. Beep! Boop! Squeak! Beep! Was. I thought about stealing their van, but eh. Oh, what is this? Plastic rings. From a six pack? Oh. You're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. And go to Pigeon Brothers. Park's got one hell of a cemetery. Flowers left over from a funeral. Can I take some? I can. A flower from the cemetery. Chuck! It's Chuck's final resting place, apparently. Who's Chuck? I don't see a way to open it. But I see a switch inside. Alright. So that's something to worry about later. Also, I imagine I'll probably need to get in there at some point. Soda bottle. Up, eager beaver. All right. So we'll leave off here, and then we'll pick up with uh, exploring the town proper.